Jensen, what's wrong? What are you doing here? Miller sent me to find you. Thought you might have run into trouble. He said that? Did he use those exact words? Because it's not my fault! What happened, Smiley? One minute I'm in there running the show, and the next they accuse me of trying to tamper with evidence. Me! Can you believe that? I would never do that, Adam. Never! It's our crime scene. Exactly. But try telling them that. The minute they went for their guns, I decided it was time to shut up and get out of there. They accuse me of tampering with evidence. They're probably destroying all the evidence there is right now. <laughs> you know, at first I thought this was about Sonia. Sonia? Sonia who? Oh, just some girl I've been teaching English to. Turns out her husband is a little territorial. You know the type. Smiley. Right. Back to the case. The thing is, I think I found something in there, something big, something that could just blow this case wide open. I just, I, I just need to get a look at the scan of the blast area, so... Actually, it's a good thing that you're here. I don't suppose you could... Jensen your way in there and grab it for me? What do you think is on this scan? It's evidence, Jensen. A 3D mass spectrometer scan of the explosion site. And? And, if I had one more minute in there, I'd have it with me right now, and I could find out. But the fact that they don't want me to see it makes me want to see it even more. I'm sure it's important. So what am I looking at in there? It's a blast site. There's debris everywhere, and plenty of cops, too. Once you get past the turnstiles and security offices, you should have a clean path to the tourist office where they have the scan. They don't see you. How many cops are inside? I don't know! Several! They all had guns, so I didn't stop and count them all. There's at least one guy in an exosuit. And my guess is they'll shoot first and bury the bodies later. We need that evidence. Yes, exactly. That's the spirit. We need it. But you won't be able to just walk in there and ask them for it since you're Interpol and, you know, augmented. After yesterday's attack, they're not exactly fans of the, uh... Hmm. So where do I find it? The forensic team set up camp inside the tourist agency. Or what used to be the tourist agency. Get to their setup, grab the DSD with the scan on it, and get out. Easy peasy. This could take a while, Smiley. Got it. I'll get out of your way, head back to HQ. Good luck, and uh... uh let's not tell Miller about this one, okay? Right. Access granted. They were good for a laugh. <laughs> you see that task force lab coat run out of here with his tail tucked? <laughs> Probably left a trail of urine behind him. You've got problems. Get back up. Smiley, I've got the scan. Yeah? Fantastic! Bring it back to my office and we'll see if I'm right. Copy that. Jensen, looks like we have a new lead in the case. It's gonna put you inside Gollum City. The Ob Ghetto. What did we get? Intellicam footage from the attack. Chang was able to pull some images from it. Trouble is, our new psychologist needs to clear you before you go anywhere. So I shouldn't tell her about this piece of evidence I've got for Smiley. Humor the bureaucrats, will you? Bring Smiley your evidence and give Ozen five minutes of your time. Call me when it's done. Adam, I finally decrypted the audio off the Whisper chip tap. Fucking cold, man. You gotta hear it. I have my hands full right now. Tell me where you are and I'll come when I can. There's an old limb clinic in the Daphne district. It's closed down. Nobody goes there anymore. I'll be inside.
Hey, how's it going? Do you have the scan? Yeah, it's right here. You're a lifesaver, Adam. Seriously, Miller was in a foul mood when he left here. I don't need to give him another excuse to chew me out. He left? Where'd he go? Didn't ask, didn't think he wanted me to know. Did those state police jerks give you any grief? They didn't seem to be in a talkative mood, so I left them alone. See? Without my expert advice, you might be dead right now, Adam. A stitch in time saves nine. So what's on the scan? Oh, that. I have no idea. What? You told me you found something, something big. I didn't say I knew what it was, Adam. I said it was something that could blow this case wide open. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not buying this whole arc did it angle. I believe what the evidence tells me. This DSD has all the answers we need, from the chemical makeup of the explosive used down to the material in the victim's clothing. I'm sure of it. Okay, so how long until we're all sure of it? Oh, it'll take hours to sift through the data. And I'm seeing Sonia later to apologize for any issues I may have caused with the state police. Plus, I do have other cases to work on too, Adam. I'll let you know if I... when I find something. You do that. Take it easy. Adam, I'm Delaro Zen. I appreciate you coming in to speak with me, and... Well, I know you're probably getting this from everyone today, but I need to ask. Are you okay? I've seen footage from the train station, but... Being there must have... Is that what this is about? No. That was sympathy. This is a standard agent health interview to determine combat readiness. Here, I got you this from the dispensary. You got me neuropazine? Look, Doc, I was caught off guard by a terrorist attack. Might have knocked some things out of whack, but it doesn't mean my body's gonna start rejecting my augments. True, but traumatic experiences can kick a hornet's nest into the immune system. In patients with neuroprosthetics... Would you believe me if I told you my body doesn't reject mechanical implants? No. But my policy is for straight talk only in the room, so if you want me to believe that you're some kind of medical miracle, I guess I'll have to go with it. Please, have a seat. I've been looking over your file. There's some very interesting history here. Mind if we take a trip down memory lane? Is this gonna take long? It says here that you were with Detroit SWAT, but left in 26 to head up Seraph Industries Security Division? David Seraph was at the center of America's augmentation debate. David Seraph always attracted a lot of controversy. Yes, I've seen some of his interviews. A firm believer in human enhancement technologies. I wonder if the incident changed his view? It certainly didn't seem that way on the day. You were with him then? In Panchea? When the incident happened? Not at first. I was investigating the people responsible for attacking Seraph Industries. I was this close to exposing them when the incident hit. You weren't affected? No. So how did you end up in Panchea? I found out Saraf had left for the Arctic installation without me. I knew it was still under construction and most of its workforce was augmented. But by the time I got there, the damage had been done. Is there a reason we're dredging up the past? Because I don't see what any of this has to do with current events. Don't you? Panchera was the fulcrum, Adam. For you and for all of society, everything changed that day. They dragged you out of the ocean and into a world that hates and fears people like you. Which actually leads me to my next question. So far, no one's claimed responsibility for the attack at Rizika. But with the human restoration vote coming, well, it's no secret Prague has become the symbol of legalized augmented oppression. And the Augmented Rights Coalition is camped at its back door, trying to expose and resist it. Most of the world thinks of them as terrorists. Augmented terrorists. If it turns out they are guilty, well, being augmented yourself... This isn't about augs versus naturals, Delara. This is about terrorism. And in my book, there's no excuse for the taking of innocent lives, no matter the reason. So if Talus Wrecker ordered his people to do this, then... It's my job to bring him in. Not to judge whether he's guilty or innocent. Well, look, I think it's safe to say that you have all your faculties about you. I'll let the director know that I'm officially clearing you for the field. Well, it's probably best if I get back to work, Doc. I'll see you around.
didn't get held up at a checkpoint or something, did you? I'm inside the clinic waiting for you. Sorry, Alex. I'll be there as soon as I can. Hope you're not losing sight of what's important here. Sorry, this place just brings back memories. Don't take too long. Come on, let's check over there. Hey, glad you can make it. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate the city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Oggs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. Now, look at it. Times change, Alex. I know, trust me, even got the scars to prove it. You're a valuable asset. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating the city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. Didn't realize the entire Collective was pro-AUG. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Veselai, and Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark don't operate in North America. They're setting up Ark, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. Sounds to me like Miller's following orders. It also sounds like he's not happy about it. All right, whatever. Maybe he's just a stooge. You can't say the same about the man he's talking to. His boss, Joseph Manderley. Director of TF-29 Operations Worldwide. The only person at Interpol higher than him is the General Secretariat. We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about VersaLife? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. VersaLife is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet. The only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? VersaLife doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with ARC? Why frame them for breaking? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know when I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Miller, we still going to Gollum City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. Look, I gotta go. I'll call you later. Problems? Nothing I can't handle. We're just waiting on Chicane. So tell me about this new lead, then. The Intellicam footage. State police dropped it off this morning, badly corrupted. But Cheng worked his magic and managed to recover some images. They show an org in a yellow hoodie, dropping bags where each bomb went off. You ran facial recognition? You got an ID? Couldn't see his face. But the bags are the same ones used by Talus Rucker and his aid workers in the Utilet complex. That's a stretch. Three bombings in Prague in six months, Jensen. All of them after the leader of Ark took up residence in that ghetto. Rucker needs to answer for these attacks. 
Here's your cane now. Too early. You're right on time. Agent Jensen was just agreeing that we need to bring Rucker in. Quick snatch and grab. Should be easy enough. So we've already decided he's guilty? We just need to talk to him on our terms, not when he's surrounded by fanatics. Getting into Gollum isn't the problem. Reaching Rucker is. Ark territory is fiercely defended. No one sets foot in there. Not even the state police. They can't. Rucker wasn't forced into Gollum City. He bought his way in. Blackmail would be more apt. He threatened to go public with evidence of a humanitarian crisis. One that the United Nations Security Council had swept under the rug. Got them to force the Czech government to hand over part of the Utelec complex to him. A little bit of hush real estate, so to speak. He stays quiet and guarantees safety for himself and his followers. Smart. So how do I get in? I've made a deal with an Ark prospect named Tibor Sokol. Promise to get his family out of the complex, so long as he gets you past Ark's checkpoints. You trust him? We have to. It's that or nothing. Sokol will meet you at an apartment in the housing district. Number 237. Any questions? You really believe Ark is responsible for these attacks? For all of them? Ark has had the means, motive, and opportunity every time. Even Dubai? Rucker and the Coalition are still confined to Gollum City. They have a heavy police presence keeping an eye on them. Gollum isn't a concentration camp. You grease the right palms, you can get the papers you need to come and go. I find that hard to believe. So get me the evidence to prove otherwise. Get to tell us, Rucker, and bring him in, Agent. Let me know when you've got Rucker. But damn, Jensen. Every time I look at you, I can't believe the amount of jewelry you've got on. Tell me, how's that aftermarket shit working out for you? Never better. Maybe you should reconsider. What with that limp? No. I like my limp. Keeps me honest. Ready to light out. You get along like this with everyone on the task force, or are you just going out of your way for me? I got a speech, Jensen. Just one. Got it memorized, too. So I suggest you do the same. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not your pal. I'm not your buddy. Don't try calling me sport or partner. Definitely not fucking bro. I'm your pilot, plain and simple. You want to talk about the mission? Fine. You want to get cozy? You can forget it. Remember all that, and we'll get along just fine. Interesting pre-game ritual you've got there. You're getting pissed enough to end this guy yet. I got a no-kill order. Is that right? Would have thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice. How far out are we? Coming up on it now. Not many spots I can set her down. You go to preference. Get as close to the ground as you can. I'll take it from there. Whatever you say, boss.
Jensen. Still got all your parts together? I'm fine. How close did you get me to our contact's location? I was in Unit 237. Jesus, Jensen. I didn't put you on his doorstep. Residential sector should be just ahead of you. Me? I'm gonna switch to autopilot, have a coffee. Let me know if things get interesting. You must submit to an identification scan. Initiate security scan. Welcome to Golem City, Clank. Brother, watch it. The cops are everywhere today. I noticed that. Are you Tibor? Yes, you're late, Interpol. Sorry, this place is a little chaotic. A little. It's crazy today. The cops are having a feeding frenzy. Beating people. Innocent people. Senseless. <sighs> you know... You know I can't help you. It's too dangerous now. We had a deal, Sokol. You need to keep up your end. Who do you think you are? What are you going to do? Throw me in jail? No, but I can get you out. Won't take me long. No! No! Please, that will just make it worse. They know who I am, they... They went after my family. Interpol has promised to get you and your family out of here to safety. Safety? There is no safety. Only tyrants who prey on the weak and the innocent. All right, Tibor, listen. I understand why you can't come with me, but I still need to get to Rucker, or what happened to you and your family today will happen to others. I'll smooth it over with Interpol. Is there any other way you can help me? There's a man, a smuggler, Louis Galois. He imports items for Talos, neuropocene, whiskey. He could get you in, but you'd have to do him a favor. He likes favors. That's something. Any other ideas? My keycard to get to Ark territory is gone. One of the cops took it. Probably still has it on him. Thanks, I'll look into it. I know you don't owe me anything, but if you see Dushan, my brother, help him. It's my fault he's here. I'll see what I can do. Shikane, get a message to Miller. Sokol's backed out of the deal. Why am I not surprised? He's just looking after his family. Besides, it's not a complete wash. He gave me some options on how to get into Ark on my own. Well, just be careful, Jensen. This arsehole obviously can't be trusted. Let me know when you're in. Maybe I'm not making myself clear. See if I can't persuade you to talk. <laughs> Nothing... Those cops won't be a problem anymore. Too bad. I was just starting to warm up to them. I can try and get some more down here if that's what you want. No. It is better this happens now before I become too attached. You mind untying me? Sure. I assume my brother asked you to help me out. Or was it something else? A man getting savagely beaten isn't something I can just watch, regardless of the reason. Well, you know cops, right? Assholes do not need a reason. I do know cops, and whether it's right or wrong, there's always a reason. Look, all I know is that since the Ruzika bombing, the police have been cracking down on us hard. They suspect Ark, of course, but they're blaming every Og. For most of them, 
It's just another excuse to hurt us. You're a member of Ark? My brother is. I just repair things for them sometimes. Heating units, security cameras. It is how I earn a living for my family. Do you know if Ark was responsible for the Ruzika bombing? No. And I do not want to know. After this, I am done with them. Being associated with Ark. Even if they are our only hope, it is not worth the pain. Look, you want to know what Ark is up to? You're going to have to ask them yourself. Fair enough. How do I do that? When you have robbed the man of all, the things... He is no longer the... He has no more of... Shit! Power? Something? Freedom? How does it go? Are you feeling all right? It is this week's passphrase. It is Selznick or Solzhenitsyn. Ah, I got it. When you rob a man of everything, he is no longer in your power. He is free again. Just remember the quote. It'll get you past Lubos. He guards the way to the Ark Elevator. Just repeat the quote, and he will let you in. This'll help. Thank you. It is the least I can do. Thanks to you, I get to sleep in my own bed tonight. Is there something I can help you with? You're Lubosh, right? Dushin Sokol told me Ark might have the answers I'm looking for. He sent me to you. Dushin? I heard the police had him and his brother Tibor locked up in the Narrows. Yeah, the cops were working Dushin over pretty good when I found him. Wasn't exactly a fair fight, so I stepped in. Is he okay? He'll be fine. Looking forward to sleeping in his own bed tonight. Not a lot of people in here would be bothered to stop and help out a stranger. What was happening wasn't right. You took on the police by yourself, on their own turf? And then Dushin pointed me to you. He was right to do so, but I'm sure he would have given you something more. Some wisdom, maybe? When you've robbed a man of everything, he's no longer in your power. He's free again. Spoken like a true brother of the revolution. I think I even heard conviction in your voice. I'll unlock the elevator for you. Go on up. What can you tell me about Talos? First time I met him, he's cutting a bullet out of me while trying to explain the history of the Gulag. He has his hand stuck in my leg and is encouraging me to study Stalinist labor camps. Three months later, I pass him in the throat and he says, Lubosh, how's the leg? Are you studying the Gulag like I suggested? Remembered me like it was yesterday. Sounds like he has a good memory. No. I matter to him. Me, a nobody, matter to a great man like Talos Rucker. That's the kind of man he is. How did you get involved with Ark? I used to load freight for the Czech Railway in Ostrava. After the incident, my employers were afraid of me. I was fired. So like most of the augmented in the country, I drifted into Prague, unlicensed and homeless. The police swept me up in a sewer raid one night, put a round in my leg and dumped me here. It wasn't long before Talos found me. He gave you work? He gave me purpose. He's the reason I'm still alive. Lucian said some of the police are using the Ruzika bombing as an excuse to hurt the Augmented in Gollum City. Why do you think that is? They're trying to manufacture a response from Talos to get Ark to fight back. Violence begets violence. That's right. And if Ark responds violently, then their case against us only builds. But, <laughs> Talos is too smart. He won't allow Ark to be baited into a false confession, even if it means that the people we sworn to protect are hurt. Chicane, we're in business. I managed to convince one of Ark's regulars of my commitment to the cause. I hope you put air quotes around commitment. Just tell Miller the mission's back on track. I'm heading into an area called The Throat now. Should take me straight into Ark territory. Copy that. I'll do a flyby up ahead, get you the lay of the land. Good! <laughs> Victor, the 
caught one. Patrolling the market, just like you said it would be. I got it, brothers. Now, let's see what we've got here. These little guys can be tricky. Every once in a while, one of them will go off. Even if you... <laughs> Should have tried cutting the blue wire. If only life was that simple. You are lost, brother. It looks like you might have taken the wrong turn. You must be the welcoming committee. No. I am Marchenko. And Marchenko, he is more of a guardian. Like the hound at the gates of hell. Yes? I'm not real big on the classics. <laughs> that is a pity. What a man reads can tell you more about him than his face. Can I give you a little friendly advice? Sure. Go back. Go home. There is nothing for someone like you here. How do you figure that? You don't know me. I know this place up ahead. We call it the Throat. And sometimes those get cut, yes? When outsiders come wandering in where they should not. I'll take my chances. I just want to see where Ark hides out. We are not hiding from anyone. Tell that to the cops down below. Do not listen to police and all their bullshit about Ark. Those Rupotia pricks are everywhere. Breaking heads, making their mess. And we have to deal with it. Better watch yourself. They won't go easy on you either. Leash or no leash. It's not right what the police are doing. Someone has to stand up to them. Is that you? Because it takes a lot to step out of line and answer back. And once you do, there is no return. Not everyone has the courage to take up the fight. You make it sound like you're in a war. It is a war. On us. On every augmented human. You see that, don't you? There is a moment coming, and it will be soon, when all of us will have to choose a side. Anyone who does not will just be in the way. And that could get them killed. I thought Ark was about preserving human rights, not advocating armed revolt. Here and now, brother, it is the same thing. What you're talking about, that's terrorism. Easy. I thought we were just two men having a conversation, discussing the issues of the day. Like your friend Rucker? I see him on the net. He feel the same way you do? Ah, yes. Talos. He is a good man. Strong. Intelligent. Principle. You could learn a lot from him. I admit he's got a way about him. He talks and people listen. But is that enough? He is no politician, if that is what you mean. Rucker gave up an easy life for our cause. He lives the struggle, just like the rest of us. I respect anyone with principles. But in my experience, that doesn't get you much when the storm comes down. Well, as much as a political debate stimulates me, you are pushing my patience, and I have work to do. You have had your warning. Get out of here, while you still can. If that was your recruitment speech, I gotta tell you, it sucked. The way I see it, after the bombing, tide's turning against you. Ark has made itself public enemy number one. <laughs> yes, it may seem that way. For now. Until then. Sergey! Be careful in there, Shiny. Huh? Nasty rumors of a wrench getting scratches on his finish will scare the tourists away. Ah. Yes. We'll be seeing you. Chicane. Patch me through to Miller. Give him a message. Patch you through. What am I, your fucking secretary now? 
Jensen, I thought you were back on track. I am. But I need you to run a name through I like. Victor Marchenko. Got a feeling about this guy. Fine. But remember, you're there for Rucker. If he's behind these attacks, everyone else will fall in line. Chicane, I'm in Ark territory now. That flyby show you anything? First section seems to be a mass storage area. View our head, looks like Ark has repurposed it for living quarters. Or barracks, maybe. Those two things have very different connotations, Chicane. Which is it? Well, everyone in front of you is armed, so I'll let you decide. Right. Chokol, calm down. Don't tell me to! Don't tell me to calm down. When they... They, they... they try to intimidate me. Get me to bring them here. But I refuse. Who? Oh. Interpol. They... They're coming here. The police know what happens to them when they come here. Not the police. Interpol! I... I, I, I think they mean to arrest Talos. Relax, Soko. If Interpol needs to learn the same lesson we taught the police, we will be glad to teach them. We will go to any lengths to protect Talos. Now go. Go keep your eyes open, and we will handle Interpol together. Sokol. Oje! It's you, I... I... We came to you in good faith, with good intentions, and asked for your help. When you backed out, I defended you, and this is how you repay me? Why? You're right. It's true. But I... I... I had no choice. Can you keep my family safe? Can you guarantee that? No, of course not. So, I do what I think is right, and if it costs me my life... At least I have done right. Can you say that? I'm here to get answers and find out who's behind the bombing. If I succeed, maybe I can protect your family, and a lot more like it. All you've done is put more families in jeopardy. You're right. I know it. Just... Just go. Do what you came to do before I change my mind. Please. Better get in there.
What if we did blow up Ruzik? You think Talos would allow that? Probably not, no. But do you ever get the feeling someone else is pulling this? I'm an arm. I'm sure you'll understand if I don't take your word for it. You don't seem surprised to see me. I'm not. After the train station attacks, I knew it was only a matter of time before they sent someone. Please, sit. This isn't a social call, Rucker. I'm here to take you in. Our mandate is to fight for the rights of the augmented. Communicate our message, offer assistance. The Ark is a non-violent organization. All right, then this should be easy. Come with me, answer our questions, and we'll have you back here in plenty of time to film your next sermon. I'm not a fool. If I surrender now, I'm never coming back. Once you have me, you intend to make me disappear. But I will not make Solzhenitsyn's mistake. My people and I will resist you. I thought you were a pacifist. I am. But I am more than a leader. I am a symbol. That is why you wish to erase me. If martyrdom is the only way to remain a symbol, then even my death is preferable to my evaporation. You said you don't want any more of your people getting hurt. But if I have to bring you in by force, I will. And they're gonna try to stop me. There's a better chance of avoiding violence if you come along peacefully. You have my word. I will do everything I can to see that you're treated fairly. How dare you speak to me of peace and fairness? You assaulted innocent people to get in here and kidnap me on behalf of masters who hide in the shadows, manipulating, controlling, and murdering without the courage to proclaim their convictions in front of the rest of the world. You're not any different from them, Rucker. All of you rely on armed men while spouting your rhetoric from behind the safety of a camera. If you want to prove the strength of your convictions, confront your enemies face to face. Well... You seem to be more than the unquestioning brute I took you for. It is refreshing to hear that kind of passion and idealism in other people, particularly after everything I've experienced lately. I have been patient and understanding. I have taught my people non-violence and waited for the rest of the world to follow that example. I have had faith in humanity, and humanity betrayed me. Humanity didn't betray you. They got scared and they panicked. You need to give them more time to settle down. How long am I expected to wait, when every day that passes brings us closer to extinction? There's so much work I need to do. I'm beset by the bombings on one side, and arc internal politics on the other. It may be that the two are connected. I have to regroup, to decide what is best for me, and for the cause. I need you to delay my arrest, if just for a day. Things are bad everywhere, and the longer it drags on, the worse they'll get. The best thing for you and the cause is to show strong leadership by coming in now, proudly and willingly, to help fix things. Yes. I suppose you are right. My time here has all but run out.
Can you understand this? If you were to take me from here, you would be responsible for more than my death. You'd be responsible for my effacement, the ruination of the Augmented Rights Coalition, and the perversion of everything it stands for. You need to take your blinders off, Rucker. You want the world to see Hogs as individuals and pacifists, but what'll it take before you realize I'm an Og too? If they want you dead, they'll have to go through me. Gott. You are right. Forgive me. I must trust you to help me. If I do not, I will have turned away my most likely ally. Before we leave together, there's something I must show you. I suspect there's a power struggle brewing within our organization. Some people inside Ark are less committed to our ideals. Are you trying to tell me you know who's responsible for the bombings? I have only suspicions, and until recently not even that. The evidence I have begun collecting is meager, but I give it to you. This is the key card for the security door. The evidence is inside. Why give it to me? Why not keep it, present it at your interrogation? Because if my suspicions are correct, and I am seen leaving here with you, willingly, I may not survive to present my evidence. Somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. I was trying, secretly, to find out who is responsible. Rucker? Rucker is dead. Come again. I'll fill you in when I see you, which is where exactly? There's some greenhouses near your position. Below them is a clearing. That's where I'll be. Chicane out. Access granted. Can't quite make...
can't quite make it. <laughs> A lot of goddamn good Rucker being dead is going to do for us. Your orders were to bring him in. I fully intended to. And how did this happen? You tell me, because I get the feeling I'm being set up. Set up for what? It's pretty convenient. Rucker drops dead just as I show up. Whose call was it to send me in there? If I was setting you up for anything, it was for success. Did I send you in there because you're augmented? Yeah, I did. But I also sent you in there because I believe you're the best we've got. Frankly, I'm offended you'd think anything else. Was it Rucker that got this in your head? What the hell did he say to you? He said he had evidence that could prove Ark was being manipulated. Now we're onto something. Do you have it? Rucker was killed before he could show it to me. Ain't that convenient. What about Victor Marchenko? I ran that name through iLink. Got a blank page. Why? You got something more on him? Right now, no. It's just a feeling I have. We're well past feelings, Jensen. What we need is evidence. Christ. What a mess. You know word of Rucker's death is going to spread, don't you? And when that happens, the head of state police assures me Golem City will become a war zone. We can't let that happen. I hope we're good on juice, Chicane, because I need a ride. As for you, Agent... I still have a case to solve, and I know exactly where to start, Director. Smiley's had more than enough time to analyze that DSD I gave him. The one you took from Rizika? I'll check in with him, see what's on it. After that, I'll go where the evidence takes me. I intend to make sure the right people are brought to justice for this, whether they're augmented or not. Get a move on, before this case gets any colder. And keep me in the loop. Let's go, Chicane. Alex, tell us Rucker's dead. What? Poisoned, I think. Holy shit, man. Rucker was the voice of the Augmented. People loved him for it. When word of this hits, Prague is gonna explode. And the whole world's watching. Listen, Miller's gone to meet with state police. Could be our chance to determine his loyalties. He lives near TF-29. You want us to search his apartment? Not us. Me. You keep digging into that VersaLife break-in. And see what the Collective can dig up on a Victor Marchenko. If I'm right, and Rucker was poisoned, all three might be connected. Jensen out. Just wait! I show you! Show me what? You're all talk. You haven't got the go. Stop acting like a tough guy. Watch this! Ah. Let's call it truce. Sounds good. <laughs> what were we fighting about? I don't remember. Adam, you there? You're not gonna believe this, but Vadim Orloff is in Prague. You're kidding. I wish I were. 
Six months ago, he got an augmented expert's visa and has been coming and going periodically ever since. Border control logged him in this morning. I arrived in Prague six months ago. Where is he staying? In the Lilioma Courtyard Apartments on Lavani Street, second floor. I'll check it out. Keep it out of my report. Seraph, I found Orlov. He's dead. What? Are you sure it's him? Well, technically, I never met him before. I did, however, meet a doctor who looks just like him in Alaska. In that clinic I told you about? His name then was McFadden. Christ, Adam. What exactly happened to you in that clinic? I don't know. I was in the coma ward. It was run by the World Health Organization. Facility 451. Can you dig into it? Of course. I'm gonna search this body and the apartment, and see what I can find. Access granted. Granted. Alex, I'm in Miller's apartment. The man keeps a tight ship. What do you expect? He's former SAS. Military life will make a neat freak out of anyone. If he's got secrets in there, Adam, they'll be well hidden. Everyone's gotta tell. I just need to know more about him to understand his. Alex, just hacked Miller's computer. There's some heavy stuff going on in his personal life, but nothing incriminating. Keep looking. We may not get another chance at this. I think I got something, Alex. Miller's NSN access card. He must have left it behind when he logged into his second computer. His second computer? Anything incriminating on it? Haven't checked it yet. But I'm starting to think the only way we'll learn more is by hearing all of that NSN conversation. Shit, man, that's risky. But we may have to. Why? You find something on VersaLife? It ain't good. Meet me in the small courtyard near TF-29. I'll explain. Access granted. Hey, thanks for being quick. Didn't want to be seen hanging around by myself for too long in case you got held up. I can be a gentleman, sometimes. You said you got something on VersaLife. Yeah. A couple of months back, a research assistant was found dead in the Rokaseka Beach facility. Special Projects Division. She was poisoned, just like Rucker. She? You got her name? Anik Norstad. Why? You know somebody there? Doesn't matter. Forget it. I can't stand Versa Life, Adam. Back when I was flying for Bell Tower in Panama, I stumbled into deep shit with them. They're the reason I've got a target on my back. 
they told my bosses to kill me. If they're involved in this, we'll get them. We just need to know what this is. Parker gave me this before he died. Said it could prove Ark is being set up. The email on it reads like activation orders to me. Where'd he get it? Whose is it? I've got a suspect in mind, but nothing to prove it. Until I do. Can you get Janus or one of your juggernaut friends to backtrace the IP address? Yeah, man, no problem. Listen, about Versa Life. The information we found on Norstat was buried. Deep. No police report, no autopsy. Just a footnote on an insurance claim, calling it an industrial accident. She was working with dangerous pathogens, wasn't she? Supposedly. Janus thinks there's more to it. He's the one who found the report. Said it was... off. Off how? Lots of blank spaces and missing details. Didn't really go into it. And you didn't think to ask, did you? Are you saying I fucked up? I'm saying Janus thinks a lot of things. And somehow always manages to find the answer when nobody else can. You don't find that odd? I find it reassuring. The Collective has people everywhere gathering all kinds of intel. But Janus is what holds us together, helps us make sense of it. He picks the signal out of the static. And yet you've never met him. Nobody meets Janus. Nobody even knows where he is, who he is. Hell, even what he is. You get used to it after a while. For me, the key thing is what he finds. Norstat was poisoned, Adam, just like Rucker. Are we looking at some kind of bioweapon here? Miller's access card might help us find out. How? I don't follow you. NSN exchanges are stored in the system's cloud memory. If I log in as Miller, using his access card, I might be able to play back more of that conversation he had with the bosses. Shit, Adam, this isn't like planting a bug. You have to actually use the chair. For a while. If anyone catches you... It's a risk I'm willing to take. Your call. But I want to be plugged in and listening the whole time you're in there. Just be careful, man. Call me when you've accessed the machine. They've taken away everything. They should have stayed in bed. going on? Miller sent me to. Checking my progress? Really? I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So... Well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like Bomb's timing mechanism. Then get this. It's a Stanic. Stanic? The Bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... Using a low-tech solution is really clever. Stanic watches are custom-made, locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Hmm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Yeah, got it. Nomad Stanic, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. Nice. I'll check it out. Great. Let me know how it goes. If I have anything, I'll let you know. How am I
Logistics situation here. Send additional personnel. That's all. Smiley, Stanek wasn't at his apartment, but I did find what looked like bomb-making equipment and a trap set by the Diwali. You're kidding! I also found out where he might be. The Red Light District, at a bar across the street from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Copy that. Commander, haven't you got rid of them yet? We've got it all. You want to try and all? Who wants to get heavier? That's a long day. Welcome to the Irish stool, buddy. Pull one up and I will see what we can do for you. Irish stool. Catchy name. Very evocative. I like to think so. Well, what will it be? Looking for a man named Nomad Stanek. Heard he might be in here. Yeah, you're not the first. A couple of Interpol agents asked me about him too. What did he do? Is he in trouble or something? I can't go into details about an ongoing investigation. Where did you say they were? Downstairs. Don't mess up the place, okay? Hey, I'm a citizen. I have rights. You cannot detain me without charging me. This, I know. And I know you're going to sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Agent Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. Wait a minute. I know you. You've been in my shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Stanek. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No! I would never... I, I wouldn't even know where to start. Y you have the wrong man. Do I? Convince me. I have a timing device with your name on it, and I found the tools to make even more bombs in your apartment. What else am I supposed to think? But you've been to my shop. You know I fix watches. I don't make bombs. No, those tools aren't mine. They belong to my... Your daughter? No, no. Look, take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. I... I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You're right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child. Gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. They said they were her friends, but I could see they only wanted to use her. 
parasites, and, and now, now, they have taken her. You must help. She is not to blame for this. She has been coerced. Calm down. What do you mean they've taken her? Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by, spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... She was saying goodbye. But she would never... They used her. And now they intend to make her disappear. What do you know about these friends of hers? Other than they were augmented? Not much. They only spoke to Allison when they came to the shop. As if anyone unaugmented was beneath them. They kept talking about the Ascension, whatever that is. Does your daughter have the expertise to do this? Much more than I do. She was in the military. EOD, they called it. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. The bomb squad? Yes. She was happy in the military. They augmented her, rebuilt her to make her better at what she did. But after the incident, she was dishonorably discharged. She was lost. That's when these new friends found her. Ugh. They exploited her, and now they plan to discard her. Your apartment was booby-trapped by Radich Nikoladze. What? Why would he... I guess friendship means nothing to a thug. What happened? I was never a wealthy man, but my shop is well known and respected. Reddish liked my watches. He knew I needed money after what happened to Allison, so we strike a deal. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goon showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have. Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter, or I will! Smiley, I spoke to Stanek. He's not our guy, but he has a daughter. Allison. Ex-military, EOD. She might be the bomb maker. So what's our next move? Stanek says he doesn't know where she is, but I think he's hiding something. The agents are bringing him in. Until he gives her up, this investigation is stalled. I'll make sure they lean on him. See what he knows. Good. Let me know what happens.